just wanted to share this with you after dealing so much with that um, LED light set that's failed on uh, that purchase on eBay. Uh, really unsatisfied with the uh, place I bought it down in Florida. I'm not going to point out who it is, and I was going to recommend them if it were good, but now I have a uh, dispute going on in eBay uh, trying to get my money back. Um, anyway, a friend of mine came by uh, that I help out a lot. Uh, he he uh, hurt himself a while back. He's handicapped. He hunts. And uh, I do a lot of stuff for him, like uh, where he shoots a couple of deer down and I'll go in the woods and hunt, track them down and pull them out of the woods. And we do things for each other. Well, he came by and gave me this. Okay, it's a whole uh, whole new uh, uh, LED light set. He said, hey, if it doesn't work, I got the receipt. Only uh, This costs about $30 more than what I spent on eBay. So uh, now we're going to go deinstall what is on there. And this comes with a uh, actual plug for the for the Jeep for the vehicle. So I got to figure out how to wire that in. Probably just uh, replace the one that's in there wire for wire. But uh, this looks uh, it's not grounded uh, as the other one through here. It's actually got a ground from each one of these to ground. Uh, should be kind of interesting how that goes. So uh, here we go. Okay, I want to show you something here. With the new set, they give you. A pigtail to wire in okay which looks like that which looks a little bit better than what I have because all the wires are out front okay but the ground wire and uh, which uh, which I'm really not too worried about okay uh, all right so so uh, as long as this one fits now I want to show you something this is the difference this is the difference between the two wire harnesses that I got. This is the one off of eBay. This is the one that I got from a friend in the store. Now I can't see the display. Let me let me see if I can move the display up to where I can see. Make sure that you're seeing this. Okay, I could. All right. Um, so uh, so the the issue was that this was not making full contact. That's one of the issues. I think the lights were bad too. We're going to find that out here real shortly. Okay, and then. Um, uh, but this looks like it, it's going to go all the way in. I have to make sure the wires, I strip, I strip back the wires so I can make a reading. So I'll make sure because I have right now the headlights on and I have the right turn signal blinking. So I just don't want to zap anything. So I'm going to plug this in. And it seems like it sits all the way in. I mean that, that seems like it's making a connection there. So I'm going to take my meter and let's see, can we put the meter up someplace where you can see it. I don't know how sturdy that's going to be. Here we go. Can you see that? Oh, you can see if a... Uh, let me bring this around. So you can see the needle deflect. Alright, we'll try that. Alright, now I don't know, at this point, I don't know which wire is which. I'm going to hit ground on ground. And you can touch ground, you're not going to get zapped. Wouldn't that be funny if I got zapped right now? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hit the solid green. I got it on 25 volts DC. Okay, so I'm getting a turn signal there on that green. I'm getting lights on that one. All right. I got lights on that one and no turn signal there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the turn signal. The turn signal should show up on that other one. So I'm going to flip the turn, turn signal. Okay. So again, hold on the green and the turn signal. That's uh, lights, and I got a turn signal there bouncing back and forth. So as long as you got lights on those two wires, you have brakes. So no issues there. The wiring's good. The plug in here is good. I'm happy. Now the time time to go ahead and do it. I'm stripping out that old, uh, the one that I got off of uh, off of uh, eBay is coming out. I'm just going to gut it. You don't need to see me do that. And then we'll start running this one, and you'll see how to actually run a, a whole new harness in. All right. Just in case you hear more noise, it's a uh, neighbor of mine doing uh, some pressure washing. I'll show you something now. Okay, I put a, I put this on uh, ramps for a reason. I'll show you why. It's a lot easier to get underneath and do work, and uh, lower this down, and you can get in the back and do, do it almost at uh, hip high. So what I did is, uh, this is uh, about a 43 inch uh, PVC pipe, and um, make sure the wheels don't come off. You can lift this up, put it under this side, and then you're going to lift it up a little again, and put it under the stand, and 
I have a gravel driveway, so it's really easy to pound that in. You want to make sure that the wheels don't move and it stays steady because you're going to be underneath there. One thing you don't do is uh, don't don't grab this. When you're working under here, don't grab this to get out. <laughs> okay, I could just imagine, even though I said that, I'll probably do it now. So uh, be careful. I still have to take the wire, old wiring out. Before I pull the wiring out of this pipe up here, I want to show you something. That's really, that's really nice. Actually, uh, it probably won't be needed to happen, so I'm disregard what I just said. Because the new harness, the gravity will just feed it all the way down. So, uh, and we're going to start up here anyway. So let me go ahead and start uh, taking out the old stuff. You don't need to see that. You know, if you're doing uh, taking out the old stuff, just rip it out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Pay, take note how it's ran because you want to run the new one that way too. Okay, I have, uh, I cut the strap off of this. Okay, I want to uh, point out something to you. And I'm really hoping that, uh, you can, yeah, you can see this. Okay, this is where the ground strap came off of. There's a little rivet here where the original one is. What I had to do uh, when I replaced this the first time, the harness, uh, the pigtail on the, uh, up front first, uh, before because it snapped off, uh, I had to re replace it. So I drilled a hole and put a screw in there, uh, a, a sheet metal screw with a washer on it, and that's what was holding it in. And uh, this doesn't have an eyelid on it yet, uh, but I'm going to put one on and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what do most of us have in the, in the garage, right? An extension cord, a single cable that can run down this pipe so we can actually tie our wire down on it. Either a ropes with something heavy on the end, which I already tried a, a big wrench and it got stuck halfway in the middle. So, uh, so the idea, this will fit all the way through. And you know what, if that doesn't come out the other end, you can untie these from inside there, you have enough room, and then just pull it the rest of the way. So we're gonna get this in there over the lip and now we're going to pull it the rest of the way down. And we're right here. We're hoping that that comes through. If it doesn't, we're kind of hosed because we have pushed the thing all the way back up. But I have the wires, and that's the key thing, is the wires. The wires are right here. Mission accomplished, but now we have an extension cord stuck in our... <laughs> that's not good. Oh, uh, here it comes. Just work it out. And it comes out. So your extension cord is out of the way. It did the job. I mean, and your wires are here. So we're going to pull the rest of the wires up and untangle them as we do this. Believe it or not, it took uh, three different tries of different ways of doing this. So, <laughs> but I did that instead of you. But the extension cord worked the best. Remember, you want to pull back and not straight down because you don't want to chafe wires. Nice. If it gets stuck away, you got to work with it. But you don't want to pull the wires and, and break them or chafe them. All right. So uh, bring this harness all the way up. And that's about as far as you want to go. All right. So uh, the idea of having plenty up here and this wire is going to go there. All right. And we're going to put a conduit all the way down this. So this is about it. So we don't pull this around. I'm going to wrap this around this thing. Keep it up here. Okay, because I don't want to pull it any further. So now we're going to go underneath and do some work down there after I clean up the wire, <laughs> the extension cord. So I don't trip on it. Now, you can look at uh, the lights until the color goes to which side because one with the license plate on it is, uh, is your um, driver's side and the green goes to the other side. So uh, we're going to split, both these wires are going to go through. All right, but I just want to make sure we have, uh, have them on their own side for now, so we're not bundled. So we're going to go through this hole and wrap it around so, uh, so it's locked into place. Uh, the more you go through, let's put one set through first. I probably should be on the other side of this, not on the same size, side as the camera. But we're going to go Wrap this around. This is the yellow that we're doing. Remember, feed it through. Don't pull it. Now we got the green one going through there again. All right. 
So uh, don't pull it too hard because we, we have it uh, tied off up on top. So to stop this from pulling and chafing, we're going to run this through again. Because when we're moving this, when we're using it, we don't want the wire to move around in there. But the thing is, i got to run both wires through. And that's the way the original one was. They all came through this. So we're going to run this through again, and i got to do the same thing with the green. I'm not going to show that to you because you're seeing the first one done. I want to do one side and hook up one side, and uh, it should show the t same on, the, on both sides. So we're going to run that, and that's tight right there. And I'm hoping we should have enough room for the other one to go through there. I really hope so, because i got a feeling this is a bigger gauge. And if not, then what you need to do is drill a bigger hole. And that might be what I have to do there, because I'm not getting too through. So I'm going to have to pull that out, and uh, let's see what happens when I put the other one through. All right, I'll let you know. Okay, it is getting kind of dark out here, but you can see this. All right, uh, wrapped it around nice and tight. So now any pulling on that's not going to pull any back. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to slide this over on this side. I'm hoping I'm not going to hit this too much. Okay, there is a hole. Am I hitting it? Right there. And you, you'll see it going through. Um, maybe if I come back here. I'm trying to get the best shot for this. Come back here. I don't know how close this thing's going to look. here and how focused it'll be. Okay, uh, my finger is where it's pointing. Focus on my finger. I hope. <laughs> anyway, bear with me please. I'm gonna now something uh something I'm gonna do is uh where we frayed it before I'm gonna take a pair of dikes and cut that so it's easier to pull them pull them through. And we'll fray them again on the other side. Or right, we'll we'll strip them down when we get our final distance. So I'm going to run this through, and remember, pull it, and try not to fray. It'll happen. Fraying will happen, but you don't want to pull too much off. This, this wire needs to be tight, so you don't snag anything. And you're going to hold that while you get the end of it, and you're going to put it through again. Okay, and this is uh, where most of the fraying will happen is uh, especially if the one you got has bigger wire gauge because I think uh, 18 gauge came off of this and 16 gauge went on 16 is a bigger gauge the lower the number the bigger that's why your battery the wires coming off your battery are typically 8 gauge okay so what I'm finding I have to do is keep the wire flat is it not curled over? And I'm going to tighten this up again when we get up there. Um, so I'm going to just do this side, and then I'm going to do the green the same way. You only need to see one side, I think. And then uh, I need to show you about how to run the wire in the lighting assembly, too. Because you don't want to crimp them or smash them or anything. So that's going to be another thing. So uh, if you can see it, you see I'm fraying some, but that's okay. <laughs> Even though I said a good electrician doesn't do that. <sighs> I'm fighting time and that, that's uh, bothering me some. I shouldn't let that. Okay, so uh, you see the loop. You got enough light to see that. Um, I'm going to tighten this up. I'm pulling this back in the back and then I'm going to pull it back this way and that's a tight one. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, is back here Okay, uh, I'm going to throw this over the axle. All right, run this, run this. You could toss it back there or grab it. Throw it over the axle, and then you're going to take this and throw it all the way back. Because when we tilt this uh, trailer the other way, just throw it at the light. It'll come out on the other side. Now we're going to do the, do the other side over here. And I'm going to turn this off, and I'll turn it back on when we're back at the lights. Okay, I'm back on the uh, license plate side. There's another hole here, and this is where you had to pay attention when you were dewiring the other one. You had to kind of feel your way or get on the other side and look. You're going to pull this through. And once again, 
the back here needs to be tight so you don't snag anything. So we're going to tighten that before we uh, finish here. We're going to run this through again. Remember that you got your loops. All right, that, that's uh, instead of fasteners and stuff, we just use loops here. We're going to run this through. And of course, it wants to be flat and stuff. I'm actually laying on carpet, some spare carpet that we have to give me some cushion on these rocks. So my other elbow is on that while I'm underneath. Uh, the the uh, ramp set it on, when you put the nose down, the tail comes up and gives you a lot better angle so you're not on your back doing this. So uh, a little tight and it's got to come through. You might have to. Now I did drill these. When I put the other harness on, uh, the wiring was bigger than what was already in, so I did drill these at once. And so now that's uh, relatively tight, but I want it tighter, so I'm going to pull here, and then what I got to do is pull here, and it's like a guitar string almost. All right, so what I'm going to do is wire this side. I'm not going to show you the other side because it's done the same way. So we're going to bring this out here. And I'm going to show you something. Okay, there's something I want to show you about this uh, light assembly. All right, uh, you have these little triangles or uh, squares that go underneath, and they lock it in this, this place, and that's going to make it go good. You need to make sure these line up the holes that are on your Jeep, and I did that already on mine. This is a license plate kit, and it's going to go down like this. Now, the issue here that I want to point out. These wires need to be up here and run through the channel. All right, this ground is going to come back and go onto that. So on on your uh, grounds here, you want to make sure it sees bare metal because your ground is going through this thing. So uh, to, to have it all grounded. All right, so um, that's something that you need to really if your if your lights don't work right, the first place you're going to check is the ground. So I'm going to make sure before putting this on, I'm going to file the inside of the hole up on the on the frame. But what I want to show you is this for right now. That needs to be flat. You need to put your two screws going all the way down and flat on that to where these move freely in here. And what you will need to do is your light is on the outside. So when you put this up, your uh, light for the license plates here, this is here. This wire does not come out this way, even though you can. All right, it's coming out this way. All right, inboard, because if you have it coming out this way, it's going to loop around on the outside, and something can get snagged on it. All right, some jerk can come around and cut your wires or whatever it is. So that's what that's one thing I want to point out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and file my hole up here, uh, coming up uh, right. Yeah, I think we're in there. All right, these two holes is where it's going to go. You can tell this has already been drilled once to bring it bring it over. I'm going to file at least this one okay it's where I can see bare metal so uh, when I when I hook up this ground it's going to hit metal okay what I have uh, let me bring it up to I hope you can see the meter but uh, regardless um, I have a uh, continuity up there you can see it you can see it bouncing alright so uh, I put this to ground this to ground and I have good ground in there alright that's good alright so you want to do the same thing the other side what I used was a drill not with a bit bigger than that, but uh, I did this kind of thing. It moves around in there. And I just roughed it up in there and got good ground. So I'm going to go ahead and install this now. Uh, and uh, it takes, uh, it said it needs a uh, 7 16 wrench. So uh, remember now, when you put this on, verify that these wires are coming out on the back. You're going to do the outside nut first and then you're going to wrap this ground wire around on the front on the on the in, most inside part of the, the nut so uh, be patient because these guys might come out on you all right so uh, and make sure those keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on the uh, the wires on the side I'm going to take uh, 
I really hope you can see everything I'm doing. I'm going to move this guy back a bit and see what I'm doing. It's uh, not quite dark out yet, but I'm fighting uh, Father Time. Uh, righty left, righty tighty, lefty loosey, so you got to be in reverse to work this. I'm going to finger tighten that, that guy down because I'll take the wrench to it later on. And then uh, I'm going to take the, uh, and you probably can't see this, so you have to trust me on it. I'm going to take this and wrap it around on that nut, on that bolt, and then take the nut. And you're not going to see what you're doing. You're doing all by feel. Being a retired uh, aviation electrician made in the Navy, did a lot of that. And the nice thing about this, if you drop it here, you're dropping it to the ground amongst rocks. In my, in my case, on the aircraft, you might be dropping it right down inside the aircraft somewhere called foreign object debris. And then you got a severe case on you. So that's on there, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. You don't need to see me do this, but everything I'm doing on this, this side, you're going to do on the other side. Remember, before you tighten down, make sure that the wires, because when this is flat, whoa, stay up on the ramps. Don't push too hard. <laughs> um, and when, well, when you're pushing down on here, you don't want to smash the wires. Oh, my garage driveway light just came on so you know it's getting dark okay uh, time to cut this wire okay so I want to leave a little play here uh, and I'm going to tuck it up underneath this because if this uh, and then what they do is they give you these uh, little, little pink splices uh, just had them around someplace uh, here they are they give you these little pink splices to do I don't really like using those but uh, for now it's fine um, so I'm going to give it a little play, so uh, if we have to do this again, uh, you know, this breaks or something like that, uh, we'll have some extra wire. So I want to cut it about right here. Alright, so I'm going to do that now. A pair of dykes. You can want to use the wire cutters too, I mean uh, this, the uh, wire strippers to do that if you want. Uh, sometimes this is hard to break in here, so be careful with the dykes and you go right in between without hitting a wire and you cut it and then you can split it. Okay, now you need to take your wire strippers, and this is, um, I think it's uh, 18 gauge. I'm going to try 16. I think I did, I think this is 18 gauge, but um, we're going to cut around and pull. Huh, it's six, it is 16 gauge, yes it is. All right, um, so uh, I'm going to take off about a, a quarter inch or so. It's probably a half inch, but whatever. Uh, you don't want any coming out uh, of the sides of these. So remember, remember now, you have brown and you have black. Okay, you have brown and yellow and black. Why did they need, need make these the same colors? I have not. Had. Oh, this is brown and yellow, and this is yellow. This is yellow and brown. So brown to brown, huh, we'll do that. Um, twist your wires because it makes it stronger, and it's much easier to get it through a, oh, a hole of such as this. Now. Uh, it's 16 gauge, even though it's blue here. This is this, um, on the on your uh, crimpers. Uh, it still fits nicely right into the 16 gauge. I'm going to slide this into here. Wow, that's tight. Um, I hope these are the right places for it. I twist uh, twist it down to where they're all smooth so they'll fit through the stinking hole Get in there all right slide all the way down the installation and squeeze and that's not coming off you want to do the same thing on the other side all right on number 16 to 14 is because it's 16 gauge you're going to take the brown and you're going to slide it into there okay some all the way down where you don't see the wire no more and you go up just a little bit and crimp that thing down tight and that's not coming out at all we have good good connection in there we're going to do the same thing on the other one where did I put that there it is so uh, I find that it's a lot better to put this in the tool first sounds to me like somebody's doing some pressure washing with them okay uh, in there and we're going to move this over to the other side 
and bring this guy in. Okay, if you slide this through that hole and through the through the pink or whatever color you have, all right, you see wire, and that is not going in. I gotta tighten that down more. All right, if you see wire sticking out, you need to cut, you have to trim it down a little bit. Shouldn't have any wire because what will happen? Moisture will hang up in there and uh, cause corrosion. So I'm going to take these and stick it up there. And you know what? Uh, in the other kit, I came with these little hangers, and these are pretty nice. So I'm going to slide this over here. I'm going to take this and push it into push it into there. So it holds them up there. I want to get the insulation up above. Now mud and stuff will kick up there, but that's fine. But at least they're protected. Okay, so that's where that's how you're going to do your crimping. You do the same thing to the other side. Alrighty, the moment of truth. Okay, I'm hoping the video gets everything in. Anyway, I'm going to turn on the lights. I did set the ground already. But here they come. Alright, it does take a while. It looks like it takes a while for them to warm up. Wow, oh, they're on. Let's see if they're in the video. I'm going to make sure. Those are bright. Okay, so you see uh, my Jeep lights look, look kind of white in this. But those guys, wow. Alright, so uh, a lot different than that. There were four of them hit the brakes now. Okay, now what happened before when I turned the turn signal on, the headlights went out. So there we are, turn signal there, turn signal there, the headlights are still, the taillights still on. I'm going to hit the brakes now. Okay, it doesn't look like brake lights work on the trailer, but uh, hopefully I'll never need them. Oh. Okay, let's see if brake lights work on the trailer that way. Hmm. That might, uh, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to work. But you know, I'm happy though. Headlights, the tail lights work, and uh, when a turn signal comes on, it doesn't shut off the other light by the tail lights. So that, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Okay, and it looks like my license plate light's working too. You see the light underneath. In fact, uh, do I have a light? Yeah, it's white light. Look at that. Look at that bright white light underneath. Okay, so hopefully the video helps you out. Uh, beware of eBay because uh, lack of support. Uh, what I might actually do is tether one of those other uh, lights in here for my own purpose and see if they actually work. But these things are great. Thank you so much to my buddy that uh, that gave them to me. Uh, if there's anything I could do for him, I'm sure he knows that. All right, and uh, subscribe and see a lot more. Oh, hey, if I could do it, you could do it.